my focus and goal is to try to eliminate distractions. And I, I see this as a, a very helpful tool in eliminating distractions, having things run seamlessly where you don't even notice it. Audio video is, I, I think, integral because it could be a distraction if it's not done well. We were exploring how can we do this better. And as we brought in this new system, the live stream quality is better. So that's been huge for everybody um, to just really create an atmosphere where people can worship and receive the message without struggling to um, see or hear something. One of the issues we were trying to correct from our prior system was with the live sound and then the recording and live stream mix, we had an issue where we could not have independent gain control in those two locations. So that was one of the things that really got me out there doing my research. Hey, how do, how do we do this? How do we do this? And the one thing that I kept seeing was, I think you need a Dante network to do that or a Dante system to do that. The main thing that um, we use for audio and video is the services here at the church. So the first implementation was Dante Audio. That was a huge jump. And it was, I'll be very honest, very satisfying snipping all of the, the wiring ends behind the patch base. Video came when we were talking more about flexibility and scaling. So I was looking at existing audio or video over IP options and was actually pursuing those. And then I just saw an article saying that Dante AV was being announced and that Patton had uh, been announced as the creator of their first actual product to market and really felt that it was important because we are so volunteer based to go with one unified system. Having a structure that's easy to understand and easy to use is crucial. Uh, volunteers quite often are coming in because they just want to help the church. This system provides a way for them to feel at ease but also continue to learn things they've never learned before. One of the things we wanted to really do with this was create flexibility. We now have the infrastructure to send any audio signal from any point in our campus to anywhere else on our campus. Video is sent to the projectors for the congregation to see the lyrics um, and some graphics. There's a stage monitor so the musicians can see the lyrics uh, while, they're, while they're up there. Um, and then the live stream, of course, needs a video as well. We have patent encoders on all of our cameras, on the uh, graphic and lyric output of our ProPresenter software. Uh, we also have patent encoders on our live stream output for video and graphics. We use patent decoders uh, or receivers at our projectors for our sanctuary. We use them at our ATEM system and our video production studio for our live stream. And we're also adding them at multiple screens throughout our facility so that we can put content either live or graphics or whatever, uh, pretty much at any point or any place in the building that we want at any time. The flexibility and the, the ease of use is awesome. Um, from day one, it really, it just improved maneuverability and the connection with low latency was just so easy to use and it worked really well. There's just a general buy-in from the congregation that we are concerned about making sure that we're staying on top of technology because it makes us relevant to not only the people we're trying to reach but people within our congregation young people and people who look at um, church differently than perhaps the traditional church where there was no video as a part of the the service and so i think that advantage of feeling not just relevant to the outside world but relevant to your congregation knowing that you are always caring and looking for new ways to share Jesus with people.